Breaking news, guys. Kefla has not only been confirmed, but also revealed in the latest episode of Dragon Ball Super, episode 113. She's on your screen right now, so take a good look at her. I wanted to make this video to first congratulate all you theorists out there who predicted this a week ago when we got the reveal of the title for episode 115, which is Goku versus Kefla. But even more so, I want to congratulate you guys who figured this out over three weeks ago when we first got the title for episode 114, which is the birth of a new warrior and you guys came up with the theory that that meant a fusion and some of you even predicted that it would be a fusion between Khalifa and Kale. So hats are off to you guys. It's always a great feeling when a theory gets proven correct. My second reason for making this video is to talk a bit about the implications of Kefla in this tournament. I know the first question a lot of you guys are going to have is is she going to be strong in Jiren? Or is she a threat for Jiren? To answer that, we're going to have to use the little information we know now to try and gauge her power level. First of all, she is a fusion using the Putara earrings. We can see the earring hanging in her air in the picture. The Putara earring fusion is stronger than the fusion dance fusion. That's a huge plus for her, but it's also based off of the strength of the two people being fused. Guys, I think it's fair to assume that Khalifa and Kale are both at the upper limits of Super Saiyan 2. Unless they get Super Saiyan 3 next episode, that is likely where that fusion is going to take place with them being at Super Saiyan 2. And luckily, we've seen a Patara airing fusion before at this level, and that is the first time we saw Vegito. When Goku and Vegeta first fused, using Patara earrings, they were both about mid to upper tier Super Saiyan 2 warriors. Now, Vegito isn't a joke. Vegito was able to toy with Buhan, which was the strongest version of Buu, Majin Buu we've seen in Dragon Ball Z. Vegito was clearly stronger than Super Saiyan 3, but I don't think anyone would put him above Super Saiyan God with the red hair. I think that is about the power level you should expect from Kafla in episode 114 and 115. Now there's also an interesting drawback to using a Patara Airing Fusion, which is when you power up, you can't power down. The reason why this is particularly interesting for Kafla is because Kale has that weird berserker state where she just gains an immense amount of power. It may be a situation where Kale keeps gaining this incredible amount of power and she has the personality or the mindset of Khalifa to help her control it and in that case maybe we will see this fusion get stronger than the original Vegito. Keep in mind that we also saw Vegito in the Goku Black arc and there was a new drawback added to Patara fusion which was when Vegito went into Super Saiyan Blue his power was so immense that it reduced the amount of time he could spend in that form to less than an hour. So even if Kafla is able to achieve a power similar to that of Super Saiyan Blue, there's a good chance that she'll only be able to do it for a very limited time. Guys, of course, there's also the possibility that the Patara earrings that Kafla will be using are somehow different than the ones we've seen Goku and Vegeta use in the past. That possibility exists, but I don't think it's likely. I'm curious to know where Kale and Khalifa got these earrings from because these earrings are usually worn by the Kaoshin of their respective universe. If the Kaoshin of Universe 6 thought to give these earrings to Kale and Khalifa, and these guys are not disqualified by Zeno. Do you guys suspect that the Kaoshin of any other remaining universes, including Universe 7, may have had a similar idea? Do you guys think that there's a chance that we may see Ultra Instinct Vegito in this tournament? Anyway, that's it for me. What do you guys think of this fusion? How do you feel about it? Are you looking forward to this? Leave it in the comments. Let me know. Thank you guys in advance for liking and sharing this video. I am going to be doing two videos tomorrow, a review for episode 113 and another special video. So look forward to that. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.